Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to SSH into Azure VM or you can tell it as how to connect to Azure VM using SSH. So what you will do is as part of this video tutorial, I am going to show you a demo where I will create a VM and we will see how to connect to that particular VM using that SSH key that we have we will generate there right portal now let me move to the Azure portal where we will create the virtual machine and we will see how to connect to that particular Azure VM using SSH you can able to see here I have already logged into Azure portal here to create a virtual machine you first search for virtual machine here we can able to see here the search result virtual machines click on that and here what you will do is click on the create button and say azure virtual machine okay if you from the drop down just select that azure virtual machine click on that the moment you will do that it will open a create a virtual machine page where you need to select the subscription that you want to use here Okay, I have one subscription, so I have only one here in the drop down. In case of multiple subscription, you will see multiple options here, and you have to choose the correct subscription that you want to use here. And the resource group, you can either click on the create new uh, link to create a new resource group, or you can choose a resource group from the existing one, right? So I will just choose a existing resource group demo 357 and here you need to provide a virtual machine name. I will say Azure VM and then you need to choose the region. I will say East US, East US and then you can choose your zone 1, zone 2, zone 3 etc. So I will put it as zone 1 only you need to choose let it be the default one and the image you have to choose the ubuntu server okay either generation 2 or also there are ubuntu server 22.04 lts x64 generation 2 so let me keep this one and then what you need to choose is you need to choose the size right so you can just click on the see all size link to choose the correct one based on your requirement okay. i would like to go with the default one the standard one okay and now the next thing is that you need to ensure that authentication type is ssh public key which is quite important in this particular case right so make sure that you are you have selected this ssh public key option not the password one okay and here you need to provide a username i would like to go with the default one you can also change it and here you have to choose the ssh public key source you want to you can also use the existing E that is stored in Azure or else you can also use any existing public key but what I'll do here is I will choose this option generate new key pair okay I want the system to generate a new one for me and here you, you have to choose the key pair name here also let, let it be the default option for me I'm not going to change anything on this Okay, and with this inbound port rules, you need to make sure you will choose this particular SSH 22, right? So ensure you have selected this one. By default, it will be that, but in case it is not there, you have to select this SSH 22. And now the next thing is that we will move to the next disk tab here also i'm not going to change anything then networking networking also i will keep it 
as it is not going to change anything management here also i'm not going to change anything now this monitoring i i want to disable this one i don't want this and then i will keep all other option as it is and i will just click on review plus create button let me do that once you will do that it will validate all the information entered by you whether it is correct or not and then it will show you validation passed right you can able to see here it is showing me validation passed that means all the information entered by me is correct right so now you can just cross check here all this information the all the details like subscription this resource group name everything right if you don't want or if you want to modify anything you can just click on this previous button and uh, go to that particular tab and modify that if you are okay with everything you can just click on the create button i'll just click on the create button and here is the quite important thing that you have to do is just click on this download private key and create resource right click on this the moment you will do that it will download that private key you can able to see here it is it got downloaded azure vm underscore key dot vm file and again it will continue to create the resource as well right it will just take few seconds to create the vm so you need we need actually this path this path of this pm file that i will come to that particular point later let it create first now you can able to see that the deployment is completed su successfully and the vm is created successfully just click on the go to resource button the moment you will do that you, you will get navigated to that particular virtual machine page you can able to see it here right so now to connect this particular vm with ssh what you need to do is you can able to see here this connect option just expand it from the left navigation on the virtual machine page you can click on this connect you can able to see here there are two ways to connect it via ssh one is ssh using azure cli and the other one is using the native ssh so basically here what you need is here you need the private key and here you don't need that particular thing right so you can use this both approaches you know to connect to that particular vm via ssh right so let's click on this one we'll see this one first native ssh just click on that select button can able to see the moment you will do that it will give you all the instruction here okay you can able to see here point number one is configure this prerequisite for native ssh which the system will do for you the second point what it is telling is open a local cell right either command prompt or power cell whatever it may be you can uh, you know open it from your local machine and you can use this particular what it is telling point number 3 is copy and execute this ssh command right provide the path of this ssh private key on your local machine okay whatever we have downloaded earlier right so how you are going to copy it you can click on that this copy button okay click on this copy button and uh, let me put it in the notepad so now and the uh, file name if you if you remember we have already downloaded that key, key value right so go to that particular folder and uh, you can able to see here this is the azure vm hyphen key dot pm this is the complete file name and this is the path for that particular file right which i have already copied and i have also renamed this file it is there in the notepad same notepad i can show you now so this is the complete path this is the complete path right c colon users mail for downloads and then followed by the file name azure bm hyphen key dot pem right 
So this is the complete command, right? What you need to do is you need to execute this particular command, right? So copy this. So the complete command will be like this SSH hyphen I and then this particular path, right? And we need to use this IP, right? We need to change this current IP, our IP. This is the IP. Okay. So this is the complete command. Now, what you need to do is we have to run this particular command, right? So, for that, what we need to do is just go to the command prompt cmd, just open the command prompt and just paste this command and click enter. The moment you will do that, it will ask you whether if you really want to continue because this key is not known by any other names. Okay, so just click on yes. I mean, just type yes. I'll just type yes. And I'm done with that. You can able to see this is this machine has been connected via SSH. So this is how you can connect it via SSH. Okay, now one more thing you can able to see here. So this is the native SSH approach. And if you want to use SSH using Azure CLI, that also you can do it. Just if you click on the select button, it will uh, configure you uh, configure for you few things. And then what you need to do is just you need to check this checkbox for the confirmation and click on the configure plus connect button. The moment you will do that, it will just take a few seconds. So once it will uh, configure everything, you can able to see all this has become green now. Okay. Now it will it will just you know, redirect you to this cloud cell. Hmm. It will connect it. You can able to see here it is succeeded. And automatically it will run this particular command. AZSSHPM resource group, whatever resource group our VM belongs to, then VM name Azure VM, and then subscription ID, right? So, so what it is telling is same thing. What it is telling is this key is not known by any other names. So for the confirmation, you have to just type yes and click enter. The moment you will do that, it will get connected to that particular VM via this SSH, right? So you can able to see here, we got connected to that particular VM successfully via SSH, right? So this is the SSH using Azure CLI approach. And earlier we have discussed the native SSH approach, right? So that's it for today. I thought to show you how to SSH your Azure VM or how to connect to Azure VM via the SSH key. And we have discussed both the approaches uh, using the native SSH and the SSH with Azure CLI approach. We have covered both the approaches and we have successfully connected to our Azure VM. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free videos on different Azure articles and Azure PowerShell commands as well as Azure CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.